Hello, uh, welcome to the tutorial on creating a enterprise Java bean of type stateless session bean and we're going to expose that as a web service. Uh, we're doing this inside the web share integration developer version 7.0 and this could also be done inside the rational application developer version 7.5 and above. Uh, here we are inside the Web share integration developer and by default this is going to put you in a business integration perspective since we will be doing some java ee development uh, we need to switch to the appropriate perspective for that and the perspective that you want to be using for the java ee development is called the java ee perspective and if you do not see this icon here you can go to the window open perspective and then other and then select the Java EE from here. And click OK. And if you have it, and it's going to add it here. Okay. Now you are inside the Java Enterprise Edition perspective. And then go to the servers view. And then start the server that you will be using for the testing. Here at the bottom, we're going to use WebShare Process Server for our testing. So I you know, start this, so it's going to take a while. So here in my case, it's already started. So here I'm going to inside this navigation uh, in the Enterprise uh, Explorer. Uh, I'm going to click on this empty space and then select the new and click on the EJB project. So we need an EJB project to create a stateless session bean. So I'm going to select the EJB project. And let's give it a name. Uh, I will call this tutorial EJB. And as you can see here, it's going to uh, we also need an ear file to keep this tutorial EJB project inside. So here you can click new to create this. Uh, since we don't have it, we need to click create, you know, new and then it's going to create the ear file. I'm going to drop EJB out of that and then I just call it the tutorial ear. Click new and then click finish. We're going to take the defaults here and target runtime. We want to use the web share process server, select that and then click finish. So this step is creating the ear file. So we have an ear file as you can see here, but our tutorial EJB is not created yet. And the target runtime is process server and select that and then click finish. And you can also go to the next page, but here we're going to pick all these defaults. So it's going to create a tutorial EJB client. And then there is a jar file that goes with it. And then just click finish. Okay, so now we see three folders here. One is for the ear file and another one for the EJB and then there is a client and then a bean, actually a remote and then a bean. We're going to uh, create the stateless session bean by doing a right click here, do a new and then a session bean and give it a package name, um, IBM test, class name is hello bean and here we just need a remote and then uncheck the local and click next and just take the defaults and click finish and what this step does is inside the client tutorial EJB client it is creating this hello bean remote.java it's a remote interface so we're going to go into that remote interface and we're going to add uh, a method to this interface let's call it public and then it returns a string say hello and then it takes an argument as the name name as an argument of type string and then save that okay now we have a method added to our hello bean remote let's close that and now, now let's go back into this uh, hello bean let's maximize this so here inside this empty space do a right click on it and then do a uh, source and then select override implement method and then as you could see here in the window it comes up and asks for the uh, the methods that you want to override from that remote method so it say hello is already selected click OK as you could see it adds this method with this override annotation that is very important make sure that it added that okay and now let's implement this method so we're going to say hello and then we're going to say name we already implemented it, remove the to do, and that's all there is to it. Okay, and close this bean. 
Okay, as you could see, we have fully implemented the section bean and there are no errors anywhere. So now we want to expose this as a web service. So I'm going to do a right click on this hello bean and then web services, create a web service. Here is a bottom up EJB web service and the server selected is a web share process server and tutorial EJB tutorial here and I think that's all there is to it and just I'm going to pick all the defaults click next and uh, as you could see it's going to create this a uh, web project called tutorial EJB HTTP router and again I'm going to pick all the defaults and then click finish So by default it also installs this application that we just created to the server and it is ready for testing. So as you can see in the server's view we got the tutorial here installed and it's in a started state. So we're going to have to test this, the web service that it created, click on this uh, launch the web service explorer. So that's what we're going to use to test our web service, click on it. And let's maximize this. And here, click on this visual page. Click on the visual main. Let it load. Let's see. Okay. Click on the visual main. Click on the browse. And here, select the web sphere web services visuals. And since there is only one web service here that's been deployed to the server and that's the visual URL that you see, click on go and then click go again and as you can see there is a method, that's a remote method that we exposed via web service, click on that say hello and since it has one argument, I'm going to type in hello Satish Aminla and then click go and as you can see our web service is being called and you see say hello return and it returns the say hello uh, okay so we completely tested our stateless session B okay thanks for watching this tutorial